Welcome to a new tutorial for SailFlow 2.0 add-on of Blender for the design of sail. Uh, let's go back to the, the original example. I have this boat. I want to make the main sail and these are the measure of the sail I want to do. 6 meter of mass, 2.5 meter of boom. I go to Blender, I press Shift A, I go to Add Sail and I have a sail appearing and a small box here on the left side where I can put the parameters. You see here appearing the parameter, <coughs> we have the laugh length, which is, as we saw just seconds ago, 6 meter, put in there, 6 meter, and the design immediately changes, and I also change base length, 2.5 meter, or boom length, and here you have the sail. But this is a simple sail. We have sail now which has very larger head, and therefore we have a parameter in Blender, uh, sorry, in add-on, sail flow, that uh, allow you to have a larger head. I put one meter of head and in this case I decrease the angle to something like five degrees and I have something more similar to the things which has appeared to so the sail that has appeared a few seconds ago in the image. There are no more <coughs> other parameters you can for a main sail modify except the boom angle. Now the boom angle just to give you an example I will put extreme value like 20 degrees in this case which is respect to horizontal line or minus 20 degree still we respect to horizontal line these are extreme value not very meaningful but something smaller makes sense sometimes okay so the other option which is remain because that's everything you have uh, please note that the leech length is 6.5 meter and is automatically calculated and you cannot modify because it's determined by all other parameters I will say the other thing we can do is designing a jeep Designing a jeep is made by selecting this option over there. Um, the difference between a jeep and a main sail for sail flow is basically the leech uh, inclination. It's vertical in case of a main sail and is inclined in case of a jeep. And in fact, if I click jeep, a new parameter that appears at the bottom, which is called the laugh angle. At the moment, it is 90 degrees as it should because that was a main sail and uh, if i remove jeep this option disappear so <coughs> 90 degree again is this angle masked horizontal line and i can put another value like 70 and then i have something which makes more sense to be a jeep um, but you see now that the clue is too small it was too low and we have to raise it and we do it with a boom angle okay is not let me put this to 10, 10 centimeter because in Egypt doesn't make sense okay I know it's still called the boom and it should be called something di uh, something different but uh, it, it is like that at the moment so I put it something like 12 degrees now where you want to put the clue at which angle you want it depends from the attachment point of the control line and the vector that is, the, is creating in the sail. It basically, it basically, it will pull more the leech or the base of the sail depending how high this angle is. At the moment, as it is now, it will pull more the base than the leech. So this is something you have to decide for yourself when you make a sail. Okay, so for the next segment, basically the two types of sails, the cross cut and the radial, the explanation, uh, we need to enable the generation of panels. And when we enable the generation of panels, we will see something else. First, the panel width. Let me zoom it a bit and center a bit. What is the panel width? The panel width <coughs> is this horizontal line which the sail, when it's cross cut, is made of. And the size of this depends, cannot be more than 90% uh, of the sail cloth roll you have received when you order it. In this case I put 0 0.8, but I can put 0 0.5 to be sure, because 0 0.8 is the size of the roll I have at the moment. Okay? The subdivision instead make a more dense net of the sail and is used actually later on for the profile of the sail. You need to do that, but in this explanation of sail design is optional. Let's go back now to other option, which is the curve that you can add to the mast, to the leech, and to the base. For the mast, I have put the height in absolute number of meters and the value also in absolute number of meters. We know the mast is 6 meters, so if I put 3, I put the curvature around the half of it. And I put a curvature 10 centimeters. When I do that, the sail, the, the sail profile I will have will be that one 
when I have a slightly bended mast, basically. The curvature of the leech is okay to give a bit more power, as we know, and you can select in percentage and also the value in percentage. Okay, 10% is too much, let's put 5. And the last one is the base. Now, a curvature in the base makes sense when you have a base that is all inside the boom, and that gives some extra fat on the bottom of the sail. Uh, when uh, you you let you you let the auto a bit uh, loose. Okay, so that is uh, the parameter for the last bit. The two different uh, type of cut, the cross cut and the radial. I have put slightly darker team in Blender, and when I put in radial, I have a number of different parameters. I would like to raise your attention to the point in vertical and point in horizontal which slightly change the number of cuts you have in the lower part and the higher part of the sail. And there is also the middle cut percentage can be moved. Subdivisions are still there, you still need to operate to increase them for the design of the profile and all the curvature are still there. So, uh, when you want to design a jib, you have to click as before, you have this additional parameter and you have to, inc to raise the base angle to have the right position as you want. Okay, <coughs> these are basically all the parameters you can have and a very very quick uh, explanation on uh, how to make a sail using sail, uh, sail flow for Blender. Play with it, if you have questions please send me an email or write it here below and I'm sure I will respond to you. Thank you and stay tuned!